Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the production chains in Farming Simulator 22. Now a few weeks ago we got this screenshot of all the ingredients that go in and out of the production chains and where they go once they've been processed. So I'm not going to show you all the production chains in this video, but I'm going to show you the great processing unit and make raisins which can then be taken to the cereal factory along with some other ingredients and turned into cereal. And once you understand how that works, all the other production chains will make sense. I'll also show you the oil mill, because as you can see, once oil has been processed, there is nowhere else to take it for further processing. First of all, you need to buy a production chain. So you can either buy one that is already on the map, and you'll see there's some around the map here. So you just go to them and you can buy one of them. Or you can head into the shop, go over to construction, Go into production, over to factories, and place one down like this. Now you own a production chain, you need to take some ingredients there so you can begin processing. So I've got this trailer of grapes, so I'll take them to the unload point, which is this icon here. You can also deliver ingredients to a production chain before you own it, and it will store them there until you buy it. And once you've bought it, you can begin processing them. So I've just delivered the grapes. Now, once you've delivered them, you want to come over to this icon here. And if we open this up, you can see that we can start a production. Now, if you are away from your farm, you can also open the menu and go to the production chain tab. Here we can activate the production on raisins and grape juice. So I'm going to activate production on raisins. Now, if we head over to outgoing products, you'll see that we can change the output mode. So we have storing, which will generate a pallet outside of our factory for us to sell. We have selling, which will automatically sell the product once it has been made. And then we have distributing, which will send the product to the next production chain for further processing. So I'm going to set it to distributing, which will send the raisins to the cereal factory once it's been processed. Now, while we're on the topic of distributing, if we have a look back at this screenshot, we'll see the oil mill has nowhere to distribute the oil once it has been processed. So I'll head over to the oil mill and I'll show you how that works. Here we are at the oil mill and I've got this trailer of canola which I'm going to unload into the delivery point which is here. Now you can bring olives here to make olive oil, sunflowers to make sunflower oil and canola which will make canola oil. So, what I'm going to do is, once I've unloaded this trailer, I'll open up the production menu, and I'll start production on some canola oil. And we know that once this has been turned into canola oil, there is nowhere that we can distribute it to. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set the output mode to distributing, and see what happens when we distribute oil, as there's nowhere for it to go. So I'll skip ahead, and I'll show you what happens. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, we have 7,287 litres of canola oil stored in our factory. So distributing the product seems to have stored it in our factory for us. So, I'll change the output mode, and we'll see what happens. There we go, these pallets of oil have spawned. Now, if I change it to selling, that should sell what's left. Now, selling happens every hour, so I'll speed the time up, and we'll see what happens. Okay, now it's 8.59 and the product should be sold at 9 o'clock. So let's see what happens. There you go, all the product has sold. So, if you're processing products that can't be moved along to another production chain, your best option is storing and having them spawn on a pallet which you can take and sell, or selling, which will sell the products that are being made every hour. Now I'm going to head over to the cereal factory and you'll see how distributing should work as our raisins should already be there. Here we are at the cereal factory and you'll see that we have 2,254 litres of raisins in storage. And that's because we set the great processing unit to distribute the raisins to the next production chain. Now you could have the raisins spawn in on a pallet and bring them over here yourself and just deliver them here. Or you can just distribute them directly. So to make cereal, we need some other ingredients. So if we go in here, you'll see we need honey, raisins, oat, and corn before we can start processing cereal. Now over here, I have a forklift with honey on the front, 
and I have two trailers. One has oatin and one has corn. So I'll unload these here and then I'll bring you back and show you how to process them. Okay, I've unloaded all the ingredients and you'll see now we can activate production on cereal. Now this will work the same as the oil mill as there's nowhere else for the cereal to go once it has been processed. So you want to change the output mode to either storing where it will spawn on a pallet out the front for you to then go and sell or selling as distributing will not do anything with the cereal for you. Okay, I've skipped ahead and you'll see that we have a pallet of cereal out the front ready to be sold. Now when it comes to selling the cereal, you sell it just like any other crop so you can take it to a selling point. As you can see, we could take this to the farm shop. Okay, so that's everything for today. I hope this video helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and feel free to subscribe so you never miss another video.